Uh, what's up, folks? All right. Sorry, a little tardy. I'm going to start there. Uh, uh, what's up, oh. folks? <laughs> All right. So, trying to make some adjustments, trying to do some new things. And uh, some of it's working, and some of it's not so far. But, okay, so where are we at? Um, well, as of tonight, I'm trying to be a triple threat. Uh, for those of you that are on Twitch, I've been doing this for a couple of weeks, but uh, thanks to a friend of mine last night, uh, D'Angelo, that showed me that I could actually do multi-streams. So, we're trying that tonight. We're going big, we're going bold. So tonight, I'm actually streaming on Twitch, Mixer, and uh, YouTube at the same time. So, we'll, we'll see what kind of changes we get there. In theory, I, I got all my tech stuff set up, so if anyone tosses some chat my way, I'll pick up on it. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, frankly, trying to get things set up. Um, got a little green screen action going now. You can see I got the nice little transparency here. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And if you tuned in before, uh, you know that I was actually trying to create a uh, Twitch Play game with uh, Blackjack. And that's why I'm late today. I was trying so hard to get all the bugs out. And I'm close. And I'm on the fence. I was totally on the fence going, I could just put it up here, but anyone that plays is probably going to get annoyed uh, because it's it's still got a couple of issues in it. But um, So need to leave in the oven just a little while longer to get it totally done. But once it's done, it's going to be kind of cool. So I just, I'll have it like up here on the screen, and you'll be able to just come in the old uh, uh, chat text, either uh, through Twitch or Mixer, and you'll be able to play Blackjack while I'm working away, and maybe I'll join you if I'm not too swamped what I'm working on, but uh, not yet, not quite yet. Um, frustrating because I was so close to getting that out the door, but you know, hopefully for Friday's broadcast, uh, which by the way, speaking of uh, broadcast, uh, 8 o'clock, this is my new kind of experiment here. Um, as you saw, uh, you might have seen before, I was actually broadcasting at 10, so now I'm trying my luck throwing it up at 8 o'clock since uh, I'm heading out of town on Saturday, and I still want to do some broadcasts, but I got some freelance work, so I'm going to try and do this nighttime thing. It's an experiment. We'll see if I can hack it. You know, time will tell. Uh, so I'll go uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, beginning at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and I'll just go for a couple hours. I'm not going to go too crazy, but um, still plugging away. So... Um, for those of you that may be looking for the first time on either uh, Mixer or YouTube, I'll give you a quick rundown. So I'm working on a game called Bali Village, and for those who have seen this before, sorry for the, uh, the repetition, but yeah, oh well. Uh, so mobile game is going to be for iPhone and Android, free to play, uh, online cross-platform multiplayer. Uh, just in a nutshell, think of it as sort of like Angry Birds meets Battleship. That's the best way to sort of describe it. So let me... Uh, Go ahead and mute this. I'll leave it full screen. I'll give you a quick rundown. Kind of a fun novelty game. Uh, I'm kind of proud of the fact that there's not anything out there in the market yet that has the same kind of style of gameplay. I mean, it's it's reminiscent of lots of different things, but there's nothing specific where it's completely like, oh, this is just like that. So kind of happy with that. I just got to get it finished. Been working on this way too long. But uh, so, yeah, so uh, I'll just show a little one player action here. Let me fire this up. So, uh, like Angry Birds, you drag back, uh, which is a new addition for anyone that's seen older versions before I had it like dragging up towards the center. But now you pull back, and the objective here is what you're doing is you're aiming for these bouncing buildings because the bouncing buildings actually reinforce this force field. So if I knock all the bouncing buildings down, force field goes away, then I can hit the catapult, and then it's game over. And uh, as I mentioned, it's not turn-based. You can actually see it's real-time. We're both firing away at each other at the same time. And uh, he actually is going for this power up. I'm going to see if I can nail it. There he goes. So now these random power ups come up, and that's one of three that are available. And now what I get for 15 seconds is faster reloads. You can actually see how peppy my reloads are there. Uh, so I can just kind of wail away. So there is that green arrow which speeds you guys up, there's a stop sign which puts your opponents to sleep and a cloud which actually covers your buildings in fog which is kind of a fun one. Oh yeah there's a stop so let me hit that one see if I can get it before him. Boom there you go. See now you can see him napping right and just be a total jerk when they wake up their their work's gonna be all reset and then uh, you can hear all these 
uh, secondary items. Uh, there's uh, sheep, corn, and hay. And what that does is when you play online games, you play for coins. And the more stuff you destroy, the more coins you win. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to put them away. So, bye bye So that's the concept. Um, this is versus AI here, but uh, you can actually go online. Uh, once the game's out, you'll be able to go online and play either random matches or you can actually play friends. So your choice. But... Um, and also, if you're on like a tablet, you have a decent sized screen, you can also play two players at the same time, just side by side. Once again, uh, for those that have seen previous iterations, yes, I have now adjusted the camera back, so this is true Angry Bird style, where you're pulling back to fire, which, yeah, I'm okay with it now. I'm, you know, I had to get adjusted to the, uh, the framing, you know, I thought there's a lot of open space, but I'm, I'm getting uncomfortable with it now, so this is probably going to be the way it's going to stay. Then, once again... There you go, put those guys to sleep again. So so in, an, in a nutshell, that's basically what the game is like. I say it's Angry Birds meets Battleship, and I say that because you can also go in and... Uh, oh, and I didn't mention, you can send out the villagers repair buildings, as you saw the AI doing there, but at the cost of reload times. Because when you send two guys out, you only have two guys left in your catapult, so the reload times will take longer. So kind of a trade-off there. Um... But you can also come in here and I say Angry Birds Battleship because you can, like Battleship, you can customize the island and put all the pieces wherever you want. So, kind of a nice thing. You can clear it. You can drop it in one by one or just do a random and then just kind of tweak it however you want. Something like that. Once you're done, you can hit save. Boom, throw it in a slot. There you go. And now that's sent just like that. So, uh, the game will be free to play. Uh, you can get more coins if you run out. Either like through this, you can either do like me, you know, watch ads and get more free coins, or you can actually buy them as well. So that'll be options that are available. Um, and then using the coins, you can unlock the additional characters. Right now I have it in test mode, so I have it just kind of set to random. So it's just kind of like uh, randomly choosing the characters. But once the game comes out, you get started with the uh, just the base character guy, and then you can uh, swap out the characters over time by unlocking them through more gameplay and coins. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, slight difference in performance in the characters, but it's going to be super minor. It's basically just cosmetic. You know, it's it's not a significant change of gameplay. So it's you'll find yourself basically playing the same kind of game no matter who you're playing. You know, and then you level up as you go along. So you know, once you do a random match, you should in theory get paired up with someone on the same skill level. So it's never going to be like a major blowout. Hopefully, you always have someone that's on the same level. And then also launchers. So by default, you get the catapult, and then you can upgrade to these guys. And like I said, cosmetic, but in this case, you also get bonus coins when you play matches. So there's incentive for getting these guys because you can earn more coins just in your gameplay. So, and uh, so yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty far along. I've been working on this for way too long, but um, one thing I still haven't finished is this item. So not only can you customize the characters used in the island, but I want to have these uh, custom icons, right, that you can uh, collect along the way and just kind of personalize your gameplay. And that's what I was working on last before I tried to diverge into the, the little blackjack thing and uh, the, the little Twitch Play blackjack, which I swear I'm going to have that done in very soon. But I decided rather than try and devote more time tonight, excuse me, to, to just trying to finish the blackjack, blackjack stuff, I just figured I'd come back to what I was working on before, which is these characters. Uh, these are the high-res versions that uh, get used in a multiplayer game uh, online. The, the the match starts, and you see the characters sort of like taunting each other, right, in the beginning and end. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I can show you real quick. Um, picture's worth a thousand words, right? So give me one sec here. I'll fire this back up. There you go. Fire up an online game. I'll just do like 25. Yeah, I got plenty of coins. So, looking for an opponent. There we go. So this is the taunting kind of stuff I was talking about. You can choose which of these mascot characters you want to represent you, and you have that. And then at the end of the game, you get to select how you want to respond. So it's kind of a nice touch. I think that uh, once the game's over, you can see you know uh, the choices are neutral, uh, respectful, or disrespectful. So if you feel like you got kind of shortchanged, you could do a disrespect. You know, if it was a good game and you, you got beat fair and square and you'd be respectful, you could do that. But it's kind of fun just to see what the end result is. So let me just try and plow through this really quick. I'm not going to go after the uh, speed up. I'll just keep going after these buildings. He got it, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to put him away. Uh, 
There we go. One more. That should do it. See if I can do it before you get that other one built. Oh, it's going to be close. Nope, I didn't get it. Okay, let me take that building. You can see the force field came back up because they got the building restored. But he's still doomed. There we go. All right, so then once the game ends, I could, I can be, I'm going to be disrespectful. So you can choose your response, and then you get to watch the, the answer here. There you go. And then in the background, you see the, the sharks chasing away the other villagers. You know. So that's where I'm at. But uh, as I was saying, now I am in the process of generating the uh, the poses for the icons. Uh, I've done the, the male warrior already in the previous videos. You, you, you can go back and see that, uh, the female warrior. Uh, and then I'm just going to work on the, the, the little dwarf character. And then uh, I also have the orc and the wizard to get to. But uh, I'll start with this. And um, I did a very simplistic rig on this originally. So um, what I have set up is sort of not it's good enough for just that little taunting animations but because I'm trying to do these more uh, 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 stylized poses I need a little more control so what I've been doing is oh what I lose my that's interesting why did I lose my texture there huh do you see that texture was there and it just decided to disappear that's interesting let me see if I can grab it again. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Maya. All right, so uh, the the hands, everything is pretty much in good shape. The one thing that I was doing on the other two characters was giving a little more control over the mouth uh, just so I can get a little more expression. If I want to do it properly, I would actually just add a series of joints around the mouth to really pose it out. But because I'm trying to do this quick, I'm kind of like splitting the difference. So I'm just adding little controls on the sides. So let me come back in and let me turn my joints. Turn those guys on. And actually, I'm going to do this. Hide the controls. Hide the ground. Hide the geo. So I can select all my joints and then create a layer for that. Just to make that go faster so I can toggle it on and off. Look all those joints. There we go. Controls, Geo, good. Alright, so the first thing I'll do is go ahead and add a joint to the left side of the mouth there. So I'm going to go into Rigging. We create a joint. And what I need to do is actually go back in. Actually, I'm going to cancel that for a second. I want to go ahead and make sure I have the jaw selected because I want it to be a child of the jaw. So I go to like Create Joint and then I reselect the jaw. There we go. And I'll go to the front view. Yeah. And let's put them about right here. And then we'll switch back to perspective view. So we can get him correctly lined up. That should be good. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on the wireframe on this character so I can see that a little bit better. Yeah, you can see it's not too much detail. I mean, it's it's nothing high, that high end. I mean, it's nothing. I, as I said before, this is nothing I want to use for any kind of like animation production or anything. But just for what we're trying to accomplish, it should do the job. So then let's go ahead and start to do some. Uh, yeah, if I'm good with that, I'm gonna go ahead and mirror him. Mirror. There he goes. All right. <clears throat> We'll take this guy and we'll call him uh, call him out left. That one's over here. Call him out right. There we go. So. So, like I mentioned before, this is a new experiment. Um, I'm not sure what kind of audience there is in the nighttime, so I may just be doing this <laughs> for my own amusement. Uh, I know the videos go into the, the record so someone can play them, watch them later, but um, yeah, this will be trial and error. We'll see if anyone uh, chimes in, but if not, I may adjust in the future, but at least for the time being, I'm going to go with this nighttime slot since I got that freelance work that's going to make it a challenge to broadcast during the day. But uh, yeah, yeah. Someone comes by, that'd be cool. If not, yeah. 
I'll just keep talking until somebody tells me to shut up. Okay, so what we're going to do is attach that joint to him. So we go skin, and then as I've done before, I do add influence, I go add influence, and I make sure I start with a value of zero, so that way the joint has no effect to begin with, so that way it doesn't screw with the, the settings I currently have. Hit apply, there you go. Now I can just go in and start dialing it in exactly the way I want. So skin, paint weights, double click, there we go. And I should find him here, probably at the bottom. There he is. All right. And then we just start assigning some weights. I'm going to shrink this brush down. There you go. Boom. All right. So he's right on top of that that vertex right there. So that I'm going to throw that to one. So he's going to control that exclusively. And then I'll drop. Oops. I keep doing that. Excuse me. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Trying to adjust that value, and I had it didn't have it selected. Oh, oh, you know what? Let me unlock this stuff. So yeah, that that adjustment I just made won't do a thing because they're all locked. So let me go back in. Uh, mouth selected, value one. There, there you go. So we come back. There he goes. Now he's actually staying there this time. All right. So drop that to 0.5. Boom. Change this real quick. Oops. Where did that go over there? Um, boom, boom. Uh, let's see. Let me start down here. I'm going to start 0. 0.5. Maybe 0. 0.75 for these closer areas. Right in here and here. Uh, I can always come back and tweak, of course. Let's just, I'm going to do like my own little fall off. Start with one, and just as I get further away from that point, I'll let the values kind of fall off. So we go 0 0.5. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see what this looks like so far. Good. Okay, we definitely want that to have more motion. Okay. So we're going to punch this one up. That's 0.75. There he goes. Um, yeah, we'll. Yeah, I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. Oh, I got this on add again, you jerk. Okay. Keeps defaulting to add. I want that on replace. So let me uh, actually do undo some of this stuff. I keep changing it to, to uh, replace, but then I have those classic crashes with my thank you computer. Uh, and then when I bring it back up, it's defaulting back to add, which is not what I want. I want replace. So, get this brush a little bigger. There we go. Yep. Yep. I think I got one point in there. Yeah, I'm going to hit this guy down here. There we go. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. I want him to be 100%. So, come back over here. There we go. Cool. Okay, so and then we'll do the more the more the fall off up here. Um, you know what? Actually, let me hide the joints. Don't need them at the moment. They're just kind of getting in the way. All right. Point five. That should be good. Throw a little weight down here. Yeah. All right. Let's see what that gets us. Hide the controls. Yeah, it's not bad. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's brutal fall off. Uh, I'll adjust that, but I'm not going to go too nuts because, you know, once again, these are just for these icon poses. But I'll add a little more weighting closer to the center of the mouth here, and then I'll mirror it and hopefully be good to go. Start going to the posing. Bring it back up. 
grab that again. All right, and let's start with 0.5. I'll leave it right there. Shrink that down a little bit. Boom, boom. And then drop this 0.25. There it goes. Bring it back up. 0.5. There you go. The lip there. Do that one at 0.5, and I'll do the one below it at 0.25. Ah, what the heck? I'll hit that one too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's a good bend. I like that. Okay. So. Right now, the right mouth joint is not actually associated with the geo yet, so let's do that. Let's go to skin, influence, add influence. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and mirror that weight. Yep. Good. Sweet. Okay. Now let's add some controls and start some posing. Um, actually, let me do this. Once again, I did a bad thing here. I'm working off of my setup scene name. So let me hit the old control S and get this properly named. Let me kick this out here. Um, call this icon poses. And we'll call that one. There we go. All right. Now hit, do some controls here, and then we'll be set. Okay. So let's see. So I was playing with this before. I was using a locator, and then doing the control on top of that. Um. Yeah, I'll do that again. I'll do it the proper way. Yeah, I didn't actually group that. I didn't clean this one up as well, did I? Yeah. Okay. No big deal. So let's go. We'll go create a locator. Hold on. Oops. Not the shift. Hold on V key. Get him so he snaps there. Close. Go to V. There we go. We'll call this mouth group. Right. Okay, boom, boom. And now we create a disk. Circle. Picking them up. Go in the displays. Drawing override. Enable override. And then this will be on the right side, so I'll get that red color. If I can find that red color. That one's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold the V key again. Give it a snap there. Actually, what I could do is just parent him and then zero out the values. And he'll be snapped. Okay. Good. Rename it. Mouth controller right. Cool. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is have the uh, head, or excuse me, the uh, do I want the jaw? No, I want the head. Yeah. I'll let the head drive that control, and then I can just adjust it rather than having the jaw actually pull it down. So grab him, grab him. And go constraint, parent constraint, grab him, and he zeroed out. Constraint, parent constraint. There we go. So now if I grab this control, whoops, lock the geo. I did it again. Look at that. Huh. Okay. I would call that a Maya bug at this point. That's twice it's done that. Hmm. 
error loading file, whatever. Not my fault. <sighs> my, you're so quirky. There you go. There. Cool. All right. So the controls doing that. We got that going. Yeah, it's kind of penetrating the jaw there, but I think if I need that, I'll cheat the mouth out like that. Yeah. All right. Should work. If not, I'll come back and tweak some more, but I think we're good. So let me go ahead and do the uh, left side. Locator. Stash it there, stash it there. There we go. And then uh, call this F group left. Let me create another disk. Picking them up again. Changes color, that's the green side. It's that darkish green. Did I miss it? Is it that one? Nope. That's too dark. Let's see, where does it live? Okay, you know what? Getting frustrated. Oh, it's at the end. Is it that one? Nope. <laughs> there he is. He's just too impatient. There you go. Zoom in. Oh. Cool. All right. Parent him. Make sure he's actually zeroed out. He is good. Call this mouth controller left. Sweet. All right. Go ahead, and then we want that locator. Constrain parent. We have that controller. It's going to drive this joint. Constrain parent, and we should be about there now. Cool. Okay. There we go. Hide the joints. Good. I actually got the weapon in this one. Um, yeah, and the uh, the female warrior and the male warrior. Actually, I didn't have the weapon included in the uh, high res rig, and I was just too lazy or efficient. I don't know. Choose which one you want to actually go back in and incorporate the weapon. So this one I can actually have a little more fun, I think. Um, once again, let me just do a reference here. I can uh, fire up the uh, previous icons just as sort of like a reference. And then, let's see, the icons. Right, there we go. So let's start with the uh, the male warrior. There he is. Got him. Yeah, it would have been kind of cool to have his like his axe in his hand, but I mean, I can always come back and bring it back in if I want to. But I'm just gonna plug ahead for the moment. But just gonna hang on to these just so I can get my uh, reference on the poses I did before, so I can do something a little more distinct. A little different, so I'm not doing the same ones over and over. <clears throat> um, as I mentioned before, I actually it's my LT, so I'm not rendering in here. I export it and I, I throw it in the old school LightWave program. Um, so it's a bit of a challenge because the camera here is just a guesstimate, and then I have to bring it over the other program and actually see what it looks like for the the lens and the the angle. But at least I can get close with this. So. Let me see what I can do. Uh, start with this. Uh, right, you know what? I got that one little joint right there. Let me go ahead and hide him so I can actually select all the controls. There we go. 
I'm gonna save all that and come on to the first frame. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Hmm. Uh-oh. I may have to do some playing. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, actually, that might work. Uh-oh. My dogs might be going crazy here in a second. I might have to close the door. See if they start barking. Uh, yeah. That's just the body, I think, that is coming into there. See, and I can, yeah, I can drag the head around so I can. Yeah, it's just the skin underneath there. Cool. Yeah, once again, on the uh, the previous uh, rigs, I didn't have uh, parent constraint on the head, so I was limited to just rotation. Now I can get a little more nutty and stretch things out. Let's see, can I do that for the chest as well, maybe? Oh, yeah, good. Okay, I can definitely have a lot more fun now. <clears throat> throw the helmet back a little bit like that that's good and yeah as I was doing the other ones I'm not really worried about the legs below I was doing some posing on the legs but kind of an overkill since I'm more dedicated to just having the poses be uh, the icon poses be the upper body so I'm going to let the legs just kind of remain like they are Let's see. Let's just start something like this. Kind of a defiant thing here. Tuck the thumb down. There we go. All right. What if I do here is actually get it. Mm. I can do parent constraint, but I don't have it actually with another controller to absorb that. So I may, mm, I may just actually just adjust it as I move the hand. Yeah. Got him going right in there. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to say that's good right there. And if it, I need to adjust it, I'll just break the parent constraint. There he goes. Now, there you go. The axe goes with the hand. Kind of bring this elbow down. I'm going to throw the shoulder up. Oh, yes, I can lift it. Good. Yeah, there's some wonky deformations going on here. I know. I, I could I could adjust the uh, the weighting, the paints on that, but uh, I should be able to just kind of work around it just by uh, where I angle the camera. Let's see. That's not bad. Tuck this thumb down. And where's his hand control? Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah. Try that. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get like both arms like up for this one. Hmm. Actually kind of looking like a more of a fun happy pose. Let me just it's an experiment. Ooh. Gotta be careful there. Yeah, I may have to adjust the weighting on this mouth just to get a little more <laughs> variance. That's a pretty sharp V there, isn't it? Huh. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm going to just do that right now. Since this is my first pose, 
I can make this adjustment and not worry about it affecting any other poses. So now's a good time to make changes if I want to. Yeah, I think what I want to do is just have, I, I gave too much weight here to there. I want to go ahead and let the jaw have a little more control over these points. So, yeah, jaw. In this case, I will use the add. I'm just going to do 0.01. Let that come down a bit. Come down. There we go. Um, yeah, you know what? I have a, I have a, I have a polygon here split in the middle, so maybe I could do this. I'll, I will bring these guys down, but I might bring those other ones up and let the uh, the mouth corner control that a bit more too. Does that have an effect there? Let's see. Yep. Okay. That just might be maxed out. That's fine. All right, so mouth left. Yeah, let's try this. Let's just bring in just a little bit. I said replace and put that at one and see where that gets us. Maybe here, do the same. I missed that one. Yeah, I missed that one. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Simple little tweak has a nice effect on it. <laughs> All right, so I was going for angry and I slid right into happy. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do a whole range of poses, so this one is going to be a happy pose. Happy Dwarves. Kind of let this have just a little curve to it. I'll bring that middle finger up a bit more, I think. And just a hint on this one. Maybe let this pinky come down a little tighter. Eh. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Might be at a point where I'm ready to throw it over light wave and see what it looks like rendered. I think so. Okay, let's try it. Grab all the geo. I'm gonna export it as an OBJ. Create a new folder, call it export. Icon pose A. And we'll bounce over to light wave. Need to uh, bring it over to modeler first. Make some minor tweaks on the surface. Make it a sub D so it's nice and smooth. My icon. Did I save it in a setup? That's not good. What's going on there?
Oh, I saved it under images. Oh, that was stupid. Wow. All right. Minus two for poor directory setup there. Okay. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and save this in the right spot right now because I don't want to have that come back and haunt me. Scenes, characters, middle ages. Oops, not dragon. He's a dwarf. He is the. Yeah. Okay, now we got it in the right spot. Let's go ahead and export it in the same spot. I'll just delete those other ones later. I compose A. That should be good. Done and done. All right, so go to. Oh, uh, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and load my other scene so I can just borrow that lighting rig to begin with. So I'm off to a good start there. Okay. So go ahead and save this as a proper name. Uh, Middle Ages dwarf. I composes. Export. Uh, call it. Dwarf pose A. Do five of these. And then I gotta replace her with the actual dwarf. Characters Middle Ages. Dwarf. I composes. Export. OBJ. Oh, okay. Alright, why are we pitch black here? Oh, yeah, the surface. That would do it. Interesting. Still. Hmm. Is it just the, uh, wow. Okay. That's not pretty at all, is it? Okay. Texture solid. Fuse. Oh, it lost the texture. Weird. It was there, I just didn't want to connect it. Put on smoothing. Diffuse is good. All right. The camera. Oops, we gotta do that for. He's good. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that might be an old texture. Let me replace that. Images, characters, medieval, dwarf, kind of one. And it's still not helping it. That's interesting. Okay. Do I have that as a separate? haven't messed with this character in a while, so I don't remember. I might have actually split it out into a separate one, which is not a good idea. I should actually have that unified. If not now, I will do it again later. Uh, so, Oh yeah, pick size, pick size color. Let's see if that... Yeah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta clean that up later. Okay, so... Keep it on VPR. Whoa. That's torn up, isn't it? Okay, lightning's totally blown out. We'll ignore that for the moment, but uh oh, let's see, am I, I'm not sub am I? I don't think I am. Man, I hope not. There we go. 
There. World of difference. Okay. Um, that's where we want to start. Um, I guess we'll leave lighting like it is. I mean, I'm definitely going to overhaul that, but... Uh, Let's start with a camera. Figure out something that looks good. Let's see what my lens is right now. It's a 35. Eh, it's good enough to start with. All right, and the thing I was facing before, as I mentioned, is just because these characters are so vertical, it's it's a bit of a challenge to get them to fill up the left and right side of frame. So I probably should get more like head on. Maybe do a Dutch of the camera angle too, but that's not bad. You push in here. Yeah. Okay, that actually might be good. I like that. Actually, that's really good. Let me save that. Alright, so now we gotta make the light lighting not suck completely. So let me bring this up. Uh, we'll start with, we got a ton in here from the previous setup. I got two kickers. Actually, I'll just go through and kill all the lights and start them up again. Key. I'm gonna just drop everything to zero and start with just the ambient lighting. Oops. Kicker mouth light. Yeah, I gotta come back and I might adjust the mouth light to begin with. Put that in the mouth. Yeah. And the shoulder left. I had a bunch of them in that last rig. Okay. So let me go into viewpoint I can see better. Like that. Four. Oops. I want to mess with the uh, the mouth light because that uh, the. The ambient inclusion, it just it kind of gets lost in the mouth, so I do a, a little cheat. Oops, I gotta stop using that. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so you can see a big difference there. 30, 0, there you go. That's just like darkness. So it's a total cheat. You know, but it's it's easier to just throw a little light in there. That actually might be a little heavy. I'm gonna try 25. Um, rather than trying to get the, the the bounces off the ambient occlusion, the global illumination to like deal with it better, it's just that's a quicker way to to make that pretty. That's kind of nice, actually. Even just with the generic lighting, it's actually looking pretty cool. I got some shadows there. That's interesting. I wonder if that's off one of the lights or just the. Uh, the globe that's lighting it now. Let me double check, make sure I dropped everyone else to zero. Oh, you know what? That might be the point light doing that. Hold on. Let me see if I drop that to zero. That's exactly what that was. The point light was doing that. I think. 